When this first started happening to me, yeah, I was not only in denial, but did not want anybody to know. Because let's face it, how employable is a blind graphic designer? It's like a bad Woody Allen movie. I'm Charlie Hardwick with Uncle Charlie in Houston, Texas. When I got out of art school, I went straight into a design job at a small corporation called CMA, and we did food package design. I had an episode at work where I actually lost all my vision for about 45 minutes. It was quite scary. And then over a period of years, it started to deteriorate to the point where I became legally blind. So, you know, when I was laid off and faced with, you know, what am I going to do now? But then also knowing that, you know, well, I, I can work because I'm, I'm doing it. People don't see what I'm, I'm doing on the computer, but I, I still can put together shapes and do colors. During the time of my career at uh, CMA, I had done a lot of freelance work for the local promotional company, and I thought immediately to call my contacts there. The marketing director there told me, you know, hey, this is a great idea. You know, we're opening up House of Blues. You'd be a perfect fit. It just like one door closed and another one opened. Willie Nelson, Black Crows, P.B. King, which is a real honor. Doing a poster for The Who when they played House of Blues in Chicago in 1999 was a big deal for me. And I actually found out later from a videographer friend of mine, he told me that my poster was hanging in, in the Pete Townsend uh, office. What I do is I invert the screen to be a negative, uh, and then I can zoom in and zoom out. When you're looking at the screen as a negative, the colors aren't true. The colors aren't what you what they really are, because they're reversed. That's not a problem for me, though, because what I do with the colors, the way I generate colors, and you know, colorblind to make it even better, is uh, I dial in the numbers. Uncle Charlie is a graphic design shop, if you will, just run by me, one-man operation. And I do uh, a lot of uh, design work for the music industry uh, in the form of event posters, but then also do a lot of fine art, art prints, and other kind of promotional items. Once I got the graphic design kind of the business rolling, I started to branch out really under the prodding of a friend who was on the board at the Bayou City Arts Festival. And I said, no, nobody's gonna buy my work at the festival, that's crazy. And uh, she said, no, you, you really gotta try out. And you know, I, I was paranoid because you have to apply for this thing, your work goes in front of a jury, and I thought, no, there's no way. Well, I got in. And in the third year, I became the featured artist, and so more people were seeing my story. Doing the Bayou City Art Festival pushed me into creating more art outside of uh, the music posters. Houston has the most amazing and absolutely enormous art scene. The studio that I am in is the Hardy and Nance Studios in downtown. It's a very unique place. We've got about 30 artists. There's photographers, there's painters, mixed media people. It's great to be in this community of so many creative uh, people. There's a lot of things I want to try and do to where I'm helping other visually impaired people. Getting this message out to people, let them know that uh, you can overcome you know, whatever challenge you have in life. I think we're meant to be here to have fun and to uh, uh, be happy. Yeah.